Fruits and vegetables are so good and healthy for you. What? What's happening? What is happening to my delicious produce? Contamination? How? How in the world did this happen? I have to know because my produce sales will be ruined if I sell contaminated produce. Not to mention all the people who might get sick. Often, small farmers think produce contamination is a big farmer problem, but contamination can occur in the most common everyday practices. If you think of fresh produce as ready-to-eat food, it helps to highlight the importance of preventing contamination. Contamination happens when fruits and vegetables, people usually eat raw, come in contact with germs and nasty bacteria. Cooking them will kill these contaminating creatures. If they are not cooked, contamination happens. Contamination happens when farm workers don't wash their hands after using the toilet and then handle produce. Fecal material and other harmful stuff that might be on their hands can contaminate the produce. That's why farm workers training is a must to prevent contamination from happening. Workers can carry, introduce, and spread contamination to fresh produce while they're working on the farm. Contamination happens when produce is handled by people in clothes that are contaminated. Didn't think that could happen? It can happen really easily. For instance, say Farmer Betsy was working with animals, handling manure and poisonous pesticides and got some on her clothes. Later in the same clothes, she began to handle the strawberries she plans to sell at the farmer's market. What? That's a no-no. That's right. A definite no-no. Any contact with Farmer Betsy's clothes can now contaminate the produce. To keep it from happening, she should put on an apron or change clothes before handling any produce. Contamination happens when injuries happen. It's not unusual for cuts and scrapes to happen on the farm, but how you handle them will determine if contamination happens. Drops of blood from an injury or body sweat that lands on the produce or where it is handled can contaminate it. Keeping bandages and a first aid kit to treat and cover wounds properly can keep contamination from happening. Contamination happens when soil is invaded with untreated raw manure, composted manure, or even human waste. Sometimes, adding to soil to improve it for growing success only leads to successful contamination. Adding treated manure and other properly treated and processed additions can put a stop to it. Contamination happens when you spray, irrigate, fertilize, or try to prevent crop damage from frost using contaminated water. Think about this. Water is used to rinse and wash the produce for cooling it, making ice, washing hands, and cleaning and sanitizing equipment during production and post-harvest. If bad water is used, huh, contamination happens in a big way. I've heard enough. The point is this. Contamination happens, and it happens easier than most things. So come on. Protect your farm operation, customers, and your family and friends. Following the produce safety rules and good agricultural practices are a great way to start.